I'm Kathy and I'm on a journey to lose 45 pounds using the new Galveston diet book that was released this year by an OBGYN. Um, she seems to have cracked the code on weight loss for women in perimenopause, menopause, or postmenopause. And I've been on the journey for, uh, just finished my eighth week. So this is day one of week nine. A um, couple different phases throughout uh, the nine weeks so far. You can check out some of my other videos to um, see my whole journey. Um, but I'm excited because I've lost nine pounds. And me saying that clues you guys in that have been following my journey that I didn't lose any weight last week. And I will get to that in just a second. But um, for those of you who might be new to my channel, for me to lose nine pounds um, in seven weeks, which is what the total was, uh, is exciting. Because for three, four years, the weight was just going up and it didn't seem to matter what I did, I could not get it off. Exercising, I must have tried probably <laughs> six different diets during that time um, and none of them were sustainable for me and none of them got the weight off. So um, I am excited about um, finding my own way of doing the Galveston diet over the next few weeks. So for now, let's talk about last week and why I didn't lose any weight. I completely sabotaged and cheated. <laughs> which is disappointing because last Monday, I had not weighed myself in a month, weighed myself, found out I lost the six pounds during her four week meal plan. And I was so excited because I really didn't think I had lost that much weight. And then um, that's the day of the school shooting in Nashville a week ago. So that day while I was trying to get information and watch the news, even though I was on a high from learning I had um, just lost, you know, nine pounds total. Um, I was eating chocolate and drinking wine and absorbing the tragedy. Um, and so I'm sure that had something to do with the fact that I haven't lost any weight. And so we have to take a road trip um, to go to his orthodontist in a different town. Well, guess what else is in that town? Chick-fil-A. Oh my gosh, I love it. But it's a slippery slope because later that evening, I went to a gas station, filled up with gas, and went inside to get some sparkling water. Well, if you watched my sugar detox video, you know that one of my downfalls is gummies. Going to the gas station, going in to get something to drink, and all the yummy goodness gummies gummy bears, gummy worms, Sour Patch Kids, they're all right there. And I had already cheated on Chick-fil-A that day. So I walked in to get the water and my eyes and face were immediately drawn to the display of yummy sugar goodness. And for a second, I thought, oh, well, I already had Chick-fil-A. I've already ruined it today. I might as well. And I felt my body like getting pulled over <laughs> to the gummies, but I didn't. I walked past it, but it was such a powerful thing that I made one decision to eat Chick-fil-A knowing that it wasn't on the plan and my mindset was already starting to shift back toward my old way of eating. Oh, well, you did Chick-fil-A, you might as well do sugar, you might as well. And I just felt that pull. So I feel like it's a slippery slope. Um, if you make a mindful concession, you have to be able to <laughs> rein it in and not just keep going down that slope of, of bad eating. So, um, those are my confessions from week eight. I did not, by the way, get the gummies. <laughs> it was just the Chick-fil-A and then the self-sabotaging on Monday. And, um, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I also had some wine later in the week. So, 
all in all, I didn't lose anything. I did not gain anything, but I did not lose any weight um, on week eight. 